I'm very excited today, very, very excited, and I feel blessed. There's no doubt about it. I got sent a perfume from the house of Uniki Luxury. They are a niche house, and they do strong, beautiful fragrances. I believe all their fragrances are extract to perfum. But anyway, we'll get into that. But I feel very, very blessed. I'm over the moon. I'm excited. They sent me a fragrance. Let's do first impressions. good YouTube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel my name is Mikey Cologne and thank you very much for tuning in as you can see I do have a big smile on my chops I got sent a fragrance from the house of Uniki Luxury and they give me a discount code for me and my subscribers to use I want to get everything in before I forget because when I'm excited I tend to forget things and before I jump into the fragrance, I just want to say a big thank you to the people over at Uniki Luxury for sending me this fragrance. I mean, you've really made my day, you've made my week. And right before Christmas, what a perfect Christmas present or early perfect Christmas present. So, discount code is all lowercase. It is Mikey-Kute23. You put that in on the Uniki Luxury website and you get 15% off. That is a great deal. They have sent me Kute. I do know the fragrance that they've sent me, but I do not know the notes in this fragrance. If you've been watching me for a little while now, you know that I like to go in blind and that is what I'm doing with this scent. Right, the name Kute means, I believe it means blessed moon or full moon. No, blessed moon or holy moon in Turkish. And this, the brand is co-owned. So I believe there's a couple of owners of the brand. I think one of the owners comes from America and the other owner comes from Turkey. And their child, the lady and gentleman on the Turkish side, is called Kute. And when they made this fragrance, and because apparently this fragrance is going to be or meant to be strong, they decided to name the fragrance Kute because their son from birth was always a strong little boy. And because this is a strong fragrance. They decided to name this fragrance after their son, which I think is pretty cool. And like I say, I think Kute means holy or blessed moon. And I want to say a big thank you again for them to even reaching out to me for sending me saying that they are a beautiful niche house and you wait until you see the presentation their presentation like you got Zhirzhov they do some fantastic work their presentation is top notch so is Uniki Luxury and I will show you in a second but big thank you to them obviously I'm going in with an open mind all thoughts on my own but I'm very grateful for you sending me a fragrance, so thank you very much. And they've even wrapped it for me, so how kind, look. They've wrapped it in bubble wrap, then they wrapped it in wrapping paper. So like an early Christmas present. It hasn't been opened, the seal should still be on it. The seal should still be on it. Yeah, look, right. So that is the presentation of the box. I've just clocked the notes on the back. I don't want to see the notes, so I'm going to show you lot. This is a 100ml bottle and it is extract to perfume. And I believe all their fragrances are extract to perfume. That is a higher oil concentration, perfume oil concentration. So lasts longer, stronger. I believe they have 15 to 17 fragrances in their catalogue. 
and I own Istanbul and that fragrance is a stunner. I'm so looking forward to trying this. We're gonna rip it open. And I, like I say, and I know I keep saying it, I feel very blessed that they reached out to me and they sent me a fragrance. I mean, they're a beautiful niche house. So, very, very chuffed. Right, that's a sleeve. It's tight. Let's just put that down. Let's have a look at the bowl. Oh, it's tight. But this is another thing as well. Look, look what they look how they pack it. Look, it comes with. I believe there might be a postcard in this. And look at this. Let's get to the bowl first. Look how stunning that looks. That. That is a beautiful presentation. You've got a little diamante or crystal in the middle of the cap. Name of the house and the fragrance. Unique luxury coute. Right. Let's just have a look at, or inside the envelope. You get a thank you card. That. And then, look, look at these, look how cool these are, look. Just the attention to detail. And I think it's called unique luxury, is because when you order a bottle and this turns up, a gorgeous looking bottle, you get cards like this, you feel like you're in the presence of luxury, so to speak. Right, what's that? Right, there's a, that says crush on me. And then we have that postcard. And there is names of fragrances on the back of that. Let's dive into the scent. Man, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I cannot wait to see what this is all about. Look at the shape of the bottle, look. Just the detail. Let's spray it, we're gonna go on test strip and we are gonna go on skin. God, that clicks, nice weighty heavy cap as well, solid metal. Let's see if you, that can zoom in to the little Darmonte. Let's prime the atomizer. Oh. Ooh, damn, that is strong, very strong, that is good. Oh, and quickly look, I don't know if you can see, look just below the atomizer on the collar. Can you see that? It's got a little U with a pattern on it. Man, that is strong, that is very strong, nice. Two sprays and I'm gonna go on skin. God, that's a nice atomizer. Man, that is strong, boozy. Woo! Oh, that's nice. That is very, very nice. I'm getting a lot of booze, a little bit of spice. It's a little bit citrusy as well. There's a little bit of freshness to this fragrance up top. Citrusy, boozy, or citrusy, very boozy, a little bit woodsy. A little bit of soft spice there, just lurking in the back. This has a little bit of a bitter quality to it. And I'll tell you what I'm getting, and it's in the back, but it's there, I'm getting tobacco. This is tobacco, booze, I don't know if it's cognac, or rum or whiskey but it's very very strong on that boozy tone and i love that because i love irish fragrances i love boozy fragrances i love gourmand fragrances so to me the more boozier the better and let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen this is a boozy fragrance like if you get pulled over by the police and you've just sprayed this on they are gonna think that you have been drinking. So spray with caution. And it's very strong, it's loud, it's bold, it's it's a little bit sophisticated. Like to me, this isn't coming across juvenile. Wear what you want when you want.
That is my motto. I always say that. If you like a fragrance, it doesn't matter how young, old, what sex you are, you rock that fragrance. But to me, this has a little bit of maturity with it. Not juvenile, a little bit classy, very bold. It's present. Like, if you want to make a statement and smell a little bit different from everyone else, try Coute from Unique Luxury. Man, this smells great. It really does smell great. Man, I'm over the moon. Beautiful presentation. Sometimes I've been there. You get a beautiful presentation. You go to spray the fragrance. You smell it and it either ain't for you or it just don't smell good. I can say firsthand right now the presentation is beautiful and the fragrance is gorgeous. I mean, they really do put good work into the brand. There's no doubt about it. Right now, let me test, let me smell a test strip. I'm getting carried away. See, on test strip, I'm getting the booze. I'm not really getting a lot of citrus. And the spice is very muted on test strip. Whereas on skin, there's a nice citrusy sort of undertone present with a little touch of tobacco, loads of booze and some soft spice and woods and on the test strip i'm not really getting too much of anything and i know you have to spray it on test strip because that's what everyone else is going to smell i understand that completely hence why lately i've been doing it on test strip and on skin because i like to tell you what i get from me and what i get from the test strip but in this case, the test strip is doing it no justice again, because on my skin, it is woodsy, spicy, boozy, tobacco. Very That bit of quality that I was getting up top has now dissipated. They were saying with a little bit of bite up top. Let's look up the notes. This is a great scent. This will, straight away, I'm going to tell you, that I think, or this leans more on the masculine side, if you're going to a gathering, a family event, a party, a wedding, you could make this your wedding day fragrance. There is no doubt about it. It's coming across very refined, smooth, classy, and like I say, it's got a little bit of sophistication and elegance to it, if I'm not butchering that. Right, let's look up the notes. That is a great fragrance. That really is. And yes, I know I've been sent it, but all faults will always be my own because this is my motto. I review fragrances that I think are... Dis or I review fragrances that I think are good enough for you slot to wear. And if it isn't, I'm going to tell you as it is. And this fantastic, superb... I'm gutted really because I've just done a a review on top 10 fragrances that I've picked or what I've gained this year in my collection. That would have been on the list, but the list is done. So drop a comment down if you've tried this fragrance. Let me know which ones you have tried from the brand of Unique Luxury. I would love to hear your thoughts. This is a house that definitely deserves exploring. It really does. Istanbul and Kutai, the quality of the juice, that's where it's at, but the presentation as well. Right, this is saying bergamot, lemon, whiskey and Davana. You've got Nagamafa and agar wood, caramel. And then it's sandalwood, tobacco, amber and vanilla. That tobacco is in the base, but I swear I could pick it up nearly after a minute. You definitely get that citrusy top. This is sweet, but it's not overly done. Like, I wouldn't class this as a... I would say this is just a little bit over semi-sweet when it comes to the sweet side of things. It's not too much at all. Definitely getting the whiskey. That is like That is straight in your face, especially when you first spray it. That booze, it is there. That agar wood, I'm not really getting too much oud at the minute, but I am getting a woodsy undertone. 
the caramel, I'm not really getting that at the minute, but like I say, it does have a little bit of sweetness to it. This is a great fragrance. This to me, right, this is starting to warm up on skin. I think there's no doubt about it that it might go a little bit balsamic. It might turn a little bit creamy. That oud might push in either a little bit of sweetness or it might go a little bit incensey or smoky. I don't know yet. That's why this is called First Impressions. I cannot wait to do an update review on this fragrance. It's a stunner. It really is. It's classy. And... If you haven't tried this, I believe they do do um, travel size gift sets so you can test out the fragrances. If you go on their website, use my code. It's Mikey-Kutai23, sorry, Mikey-Kutai23, and that will give you 15% off. I don't earn no money. It's nothing like that. This is for me to use and for my subscribers to use or whoever's watching this to use. Use that code if you're interested. It will give you 15% off. I forgot to mention, I ended up getting carried away that I'm going to leave the link of the Unique Luxury website down in the description below. So go and check it out. I told you, when I get carried away and excited, phew, everything goes from my brain. I'm going to say it again. I want to say a big thank you to everybody at Uniquey Luxury to whom sent me this fragrance. It means a hell of a lot and it's made my day. Like I say, it's made my week and it's made my year really. It's topped the year off very nicely and I appreciate it very much so. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that is first impressions on Uniquey Luxury's Coute. Great scent, it really is. That booze is still lingering. Now that caramel is starting to come out. Very lightly on the caramel at the minute. That, that whiskey is still lingering. The woods has amped up a little bit more. The fragrance is now warmed up. Yeah, this is a great scent. This is a great fragrance, no doubt about it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sticking with me. Great first impressions. Very, very nice fragrance. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know which fragrances you want to check out from the brand. Which ones do you own from the brand? Which ones are worth checking out? Or which ones are worth me checking out from the brand? I would love to hear your thoughts. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I'll definitely see you lot on the next one. Cheers.